We're in Pahrump, Nevada, out in the desert, just outside of town on BLM land. One of the things that happens a lot, unfortunately, on public lands right outside of cities or towns is that people like to use the areas as landfills and dump their trash there. The insane thing in this case in Pahrump is that there's a landfill that's free, that's open, I think, seven days a week, but certainly five or six. It's just right down the road. Case in point. <laughs> it's a little bit different, but there were two of these here. I don't know what happened to the other one. Somebody finally got it out of here. These were not always here. I came down here for years and they were not here. Two or three years ago, I came down and there they were. But it's a lot of smaller trash where people literally come out with their pickup truck or whatever and they throw a bunch of crap. They throw their couch, they throw their mattress, they throw all kinds of things in the desert. BLM never appears to do anything about it because the piles grew year by year by year. And fortunately, what's happened recently is there's at least one, I think maybe two groups who have set about trying to clean up the desert, trying to clean up the land they love around Pahrump, Nevada. One of those I've heard is a local group. I'm not, I don't know any additional details beyond that, but they come out routinely and clean stuff up. The other is HAWA, or Homes on Wheels Alliance. They've also organized some cleanups. They had one last spring going on in April when I was down here and they had dumpsters out and volunteers picking up all kinds of stuff. Here's the catch. It's looking good. I've never seen the desert around Prump look so clean before, which is amazing. Really great to see that. The catch is that now people are asking, how are you going to do another cleanup this year? And nobody's sure if there's enough trash out here, to, enough trash piles to justify another cleanup. We've seen a little bit of blow trash just driving around this morning. That's stuff anybody can easily pick up. And I, and I often did that when I camped out here. We haven't seen any big piles yet. So what we're going to do uh, to help Howa out with this is we're going to get the drone up today. And we're going to see from an aerial perspective what all can be seen around here. See if we can find any trash that they would, you know, they might want to organize a cleanup for. Because they need to plan this ahead of time and arrange for volunteers to come out and arrange to have dumpsters and things to pick stuff up. So we need to know where the problem areas are. So that's what we're going to see if we can find out any more problem areas on the BLM land here just outside of Pahrump. And what we're specifically looking at today is just north of where most people camp, just south of where most people camp, and just east towards the mountains of where most people camp. Obviously, I don't think anybody's how is going to be able to do anything with this trailer, but maybe they will. I don't know. <laughs> we can't go too far north here on uh, along the power lines because I've been up there a ways and it quickly drops into a wash and gets kind of terrifying if you're a man. I wasn't sure I was going to get out last time, but anyways, we've already seen wild horses. That's awesome. So we're going to get the drone up. Come along with us and if you want to know more about uh the program how is cleanup programs i'll have a link in the video description to their website where you can get all that information i'm not formally affiliated with how i'm just doing this as a project to help them out with a, a cleanup they're doing which i think is a great great uh project and i wanted to do my part to help support that and contribute to that so again links in the description of that come along with us as we see what, get the drone up see what we can find out here
All right, so we checked out a whole bunch of BLM land around here. We didn't find any big trash piles, which is awesome. That's fantastic. There used to be a ton of them in the desert here outside of Rump. So that's just a testament to the volunteers who have made an effort to come out here and clean things up. BLM, uh, they just leave this stuff here for years on end. So thank you. Huge shout out to those of you who have come out here and made the effort to clean up. We found a few small places where we do a dump thing. We found like a cat scratching post. Why you take that out in the desert instead of taking it to the landfill, I don't know. We found somewhere where somebody dumped, uh, uh, smashed up a toilet. We found another place somebody dumped a tote full of plastic and other garbage. So we bookmarked the tags for those things. None of it's like a dumpster load, but maybe somebody wants to come out and pick it up. I don't have room in the van today. We're not set up to pick up any of that stuff today. But that's what we found. Hope you enjoyed some of the drone views because there was some really great scenery around here, even as we were looking for trash that we mostly didn't find. So fantastic there. The thing I've noticed on public lands with trash is that once it starts, it's like a social proof thing that other people seem to be like, well, hey, somebody else already dumped trash here, so I'll dump more. And if you can get it cleaned up and keep it cleaned up, it tends to be less of a problem. Again, huge shout out to those who've been cleaning up around here. Um, glad we could make a little contribution here and see if we can find some more piles for people to clean up. But uh, we'll share again, we'll share a little bit we did. Meanwhile, amazing mountain views here up in the desert. We've got Choya cactus and fir sage and a Joshua tree starting here and Mojave yuccas and snow. It's awesome. <laughs>